Hi, I'm Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls, brought to you by CAMCO, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Kirsten Evans of Lawrence about poison ivy. Thanks for being here today, Dr. Evans. Thanks for inviting me, Amy. Now this time of year, we're all just gonna be outside more often. What exactly is poison ivy? Well, poison ivy is a plant um, that is common in this area. It has a very distinctive three-leaf pattern that you can recognize once you you can even Google it or look it up online. Um, the problem with poison ivy is it causes what we call contact dermatitis or bad itchy rash in people who are allergic to it. How does it cause a rash? Um, the problem with poison ivy is the oil. It's not the plant itself. It's the oil that's in the plant. So as soon as that leaf is broken and the oil touches the skin, the skin then will break out. Um, so if you touch the plant itself, that's a problem. But also the oil can get on your clothes or on your tools. And so then you, when you touch those, you can equally um, get, get that rash to flare. What does the rash look like? The rash is characterized by kind of red um, raised areas and then also little linear blisters kind of in a line. These blisters will often have a clear or a yellow fluid. Um, it can also welt up and become quite swollen. Um, and the rash will typically show up anywhere from five to 15 hours after contact. And is the rash contagious? The rash is not contagious. Mm -hmm. The rash is caused by touching the oil itself. So I can't give you poison ivy. Okay, how is it treated? Typically, we start with a topical treatment like an antihistamine or hydrocortisone or even calamine lotion or some of the other um, products that are on, on the market. However, if it's widespread, if there's a lot of swelling, particularly of the eyes, the face, anything around there, um, you may need to get an oral steroid from your physician. Okay. And is that the only time you should call your physician when it comes to these kinds of rashes? I think you should call your physician if what you're doing isn't working, if you're concerned, um, if it's spreading. Um, and, be, and particularly if it's on your face. Okay, yes. all right, great reminders. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Amy. Please join us next week for a new health topic discussion on house calls.